The San Jose State University Research Scholarship and Creative Activity Adaptation Plan follows a phased approach that is congruent with the State of California Pandemic Roadmap. In all the phases of the plan, we strive to ensure the safety of all faculty, staff, students, and human subjects involved in research on campus and in the surrounding communities. In all the phases of the plan, we are following the California State University, local, state, and national public health authority directives and guidance on physical distancing, the use of personal protective equipment like masks, shields, and gloves, as well as sanitization. It is important to note that all research projects and creative activities that have successfully transitioned to being fully remote and do not need access to campus will continue remotely until the public health directives are lifted and the university resumes unrestricted operation. Right now in phase two of the SJSU ADAPT plan, we are gradually allowing critical and time-sensitive research activities to resume on campus in a reduced capacity. We want to ensure that all protocols are followed and that our students, faculty, and staff are safe. Environmental Health and Safety is working with the college deans and with the Office of Research in reviewing all the requests to resume operation on campus to make sure that access is going to be safe and that designated spaces are used within the limitation that are imposed by the required physical distancing. Also, prior to returning to campus, all personnel involved in research projects and creative activities that are approved to resume must complete COVID-19 physical distancing and sanitization information training. They also have to complete acknowledgement forms to confirm their understanding and commitment to adhering to the required safety procedures. In spite of the COVID-19 environment, we continue to carry out grant-funded research and we continue to apply for new grants. Our research development team and the Research Foundation support our faculty in managing their existing awards and in submitting new grant applications. It is important to note that during the pandemic, the SJSU research enterprise is active with a lot of this activity being carried out remotely. The pandemic has also created new funding opportunities related to COVID-19. Although at San Jose State we don't have a medical school, we have several areas of expertise and excellence that allow us to contribute to COVID-19 and pandemic-related research. These areas include biology, chemistry, economics, urban and regional planning, technology, many areas. The pandemic is not just about the virus. Its impact on society includes social, health, and economic research topics that San Jose State can contribute to. Our top concern is the safety of our students and our faculty as they conduct research and creative activities. So how do we protect them as our community and at the same time allow them to carry out the work that will help advance their careers? This is our challenge. We want to ensure that everyone is safe and we also want to make sure that we give them all the opportunity for their career progression, keeping in mind the deadlines that they have for their work, their graduation, and their grant-funded research. Having safety on one hand and career success on the other hand, how do we optimize both priorities at the same time? That's our challenge. So we have developed the SJSU ADAPT plan to allow us to carefully and gradually bring on research back to campus in a safe environment for our students and our faculty involved in the work. The good news is that a lot of the research and creative activities have transitioned successfully remotely, and they will continue remote as much as possible. But the challenge is not all work 
can be done remotely. Several of our researchers and artists need access to campus to have access to spaces, equipment, studios, facilities, and these are the projects and the activities that we need to accommodate. The Division of Research and Innovation is collaborating with the college deans and environmental health and safety to review the project applications that are coming through for campus access, and we're doing all we can to approve these projects as quickly as possible. At this stage of phase two in the SJSU ADAPT, we are only accommodating critical and time-sensitive projects. And as we look forward to phase three, we will be able to expand access to campus when it is safe to do so. Here at San Jose State University, we have active research that brings demonstrable public impact in many areas. That is research that improves lives and serves society, locally, regionally, nationally, and anywhere in the world. All across campus, whether it's in the arts or engineering, whether it's in sciences or humanities, whether it's in health or social sciences, or business or education, San Jose State University has been at the forefront of many scientific, scholarly, and creative efforts that are leading the world in fundamental discoveries and applied research. For example, we have just received two National Science Foundation grants that are instrumental in using research to improve how students learn STEM. The first is led by Dr. Tom Madura, where he's using 3D printing to assist and assess visually impaired high school students to learn STEM while also professionally developing teachers in educating STEM to students. The second grant is led by Drs. Cassandra Paul and Tammy Vizentainer to continue to build on the research on providing more effective pedagogy in several introductory STEM courses that have shown to be impactful for all students, but especially underrepresented minorities. Speaking of the National Science Foundation, Dr. Kim Blizniak received an NSF Career Award to help her with her research in earthquakes. The societal impact of her research is high because the data that she's collecting will help us refine earthquake hazard models and increase our ability to forecast the occurrences of earthquakes. On other fronts, in the sciences, we are, of course, growing our wildfire weather studies with a number of faculty arriving at San Jose State to complement the strong research presence we already have that is led by Dr. Craig Clements, Sen Shao, and their colleagues in meteorology and climate science. In marine sciences, at the San Jose State University Moss Landing Marine Labs, we have a leading aquaculture research facility where our researchers are studying the cultivation of various seaweed species and the effects of ocean acidification on them. Our scientists are also studying the effects of ocean acidification and hypoxia on various fish species. In biomedical research, doctors Anand Rama Subramanian and John Lee are leading collaborative student research in the areas of blood clot biomechanics. They are measuring how various components inside and outside the blood platelets can provide the strength to oppose the forces of blood flow. In social sciences, we continue to lead a very strong partnership with NASA Ames Research Center in human systems integration, rotorcraft research, and macroergonomics, led by Dr. Sean Laraway and Susan Sishnersky. These are great examples of multidisciplinary research that combines social sciences and engineering. Also, Dr. Yu Wilson Yuan is leading a National Institute of Justice grant to study the origins of fear of crime and how individuals and communities react to criminal victimization, particularly in Asian and Latino immigrant communities. Another example, which is related to COVID-19, is the work of Dr. Bridget McDonald, 
who is leading marine mammals research at San Jose State University Moss Landing Marine Labs. She is working with student researchers to conduct behavioral observations on sea otters in Monterey County to examine the influence of disturbance on habitat use and habituation to disturbances. COVID-19 is providing a unique opportunity to examine how the decrease in tourism and shelter in place is potentially changing the behavior of sea otters. The Division of Research and Innovation continues to provide seed funding for faculty-led student-focused research and in one of this year's funding programs, out of the 25 funded proposals, nine were exploring themes that have become particularly important during the days of the pandemic upon us. What we find interesting is the array of disciplines involved, including business, education, engineering, public health, biology, chemistry, and urban and regional planning. The pandemic is present, but our faculty are taking these times as a way to advance our understanding of the human condition. In relation to our local communities, Dr. Robert Marx is examining the creation of communities in quarantine and understanding the resilience among LGBTQ students displaced by campus closures. Dr. Faustina Ducrow is in the final stages of publishing some of her work on Louisiana migrants in California, which is critical to our understanding of the cultural backgrounds of the Bay Area communities. In the arts, on the other hand, Dr. Mustafa Jalal enlightens us about poetry in the time of COVID. San Jose State University features a wide variety of research projects and creative activities with broad participation and engagement of internal and external stakeholders, including faculty researchers, student researchers, domain experts, as well as members of the community, and in a lot of cases, global partners. Students interested in research can still get involved while learning remotely. They need to follow the same process they would while on campus. We encourage undergraduate students to look at faculty research, scholarship, and creative activity web pages to see what interests them, regardless of what their major is. Research brings an excellent opportunity to expand the horizon beyond the path that is set by one's primary study area. They should ask for an appointment with the faculty member during their office hours to explore mutual interests. Faculty have a lot of activities and some of it can be done remotely. As we transition into phase three of SJSU ADAPT, more research projects will be coming back to campus and more undergraduate student involvement will be possible. For graduate students, normally the route is within their major department with well-established mechanisms specific to each department to follow. So they are encouraged to continue their work with their research supervisor to adapt their research agenda to the currently limited environment. Researchers are now being challenged by this environment and they have to find new ways to conduct their research and evolve their research agendas to accommodate the remote modalities and the limited resources that they have access to at this time. This, in my opinion, is forcing us to think of operational efficiencies that will stay with us for a long time and will be very beneficial in the long run. Also, the concern about financial resources is making us focus more on grant funding. So we're putting more effort in identifying grant sources and our research development team and the research foundation are working hard with our faculty to identify those new resources and help them submit new grants. The idea is when we come out of the pandemic on the other side, we want to be ready with financial capacity and the right resources so our faculty and students can resume at full capacity their great research and creative activity work. Contextually, the pandemic has created several COVID-19 related funding opportunities. Although we don't have a medical school here at San Jose State University, 
we have several areas of excellence and expertise that allow us to contribute to the innovative COVID-19 and pandemic research. We are impressed with the resilience of our faculty and student researchers, scholars and artists of all types. The drive to discover and create leads them to determining what they can do to further their work rather than being overwhelmed by the obstacles. We know that many faculty members took the summer to work on publications or grant proposal submissions. In addition, some researchers gained approval to come to campus or do the field studies this summer. These activities often position the researchers to make collaboration with colleagues and to pursue external funding. We can tell there's pent up energy that is being directed towards remote research activities and in some cases on site or field work. We continue to provide seed funding for faculty research and this year, out of the 25 proposals funded through the CSU Central RISCA Award, nine are exploring themes that have become particularly important during the days of the pandemic. What we find really interesting is the array of disciplines involved, including engineering, education, public health, biology, chemistry, and many other areas. The pandemic is present, but our faculty are taking these times as a way to advance our understanding of the human condition. This is what San Jose State University Research Enterprise is all about.